Today we're going to learn how to get the entire name of a file inside a website root folder in case we don't know the entire name of the file or maybe we don't know the extension of it. So an example of this could be let's say we have a website where we allow users to upload images to it. Now because we might not know the username or maybe the extension of the file that they uploaded such as JPEGs or PNG images, then we can pinpoint the file even though we don't know the extension of it. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to continue this off the previous episode where I showed you guys how to delete files from a website. Now in case you guys didn't follow the previous episode, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description where you guys can download the files that I have in front of me here. Or you can just go ahead and follow this because it's very simple what we're going to do. So based off the example we did in the previous episode, as you guys can see, we have a very basic form inside our front page with a button in it that goes into our root folder and deletes the file. So right now the file that gets deleted is the one we have inside our uploads folder inside the root folder called cat.jpg. So in order to delete this image here, when we don't know the extension, we need to go into the script that actually goes in and deletes the file that I have right here. Now right now, as you guys can see, I have a path to the image and then I simply run the function that actually goes in and deletes the file. Now what we need to do before we actually delete the file is we need to go ahead and search for a file that has a certain string inside its name. So right now up here in the path, what we actually know, if we don't know the extension, would be cat something. So it's inside the uploads folder called cat something. And what we can do here is we can actually go ahead and say, okay, well, we don't know what comes after cat. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and write multiplication or the star symbol, which means that right now we know that the string here has uploads forward slash cat something, which is what the star symbol means. And then we can go ahead and do a function called glob. Now the glob function inside PHP goes into your path and searches for every single file that has this specific string inside the name and prints them out inside an array. So if you have more than one file with this name inside of it, then you're going to have more results than one. So what we can do here inside the next line is we can go ahead and say variable file info and set it equal to glob parentheses. And then inside the glob, we're going to go ahead and include the path to the file that we want to find. So if I were to do this and actually go ahead and print our what we have here, let's actually just go ahead and comment out what we have down here so we don't get anything, is we can go ahead and see what happens when we do actually use the glob function. So I can say print r, like so, and say we have the file info variable which we want to print out inside our screen. So if we were to refresh, delete the file, you guys can see that right now we have an array down here that has the first piece of data which is equal to uploads forward slash cat the JPEG. So right now it's actually finding the right file. Now let's say we have more than one image with this specific string inside the name, just to show you guys, I can go ahead, copy this image that I have here. So not right now it's called cat2. If I were to go ahead and go back, refresh, you guys can see we now get two different data inside the array. One is called cat.jpg and one is called cat2.jpg. And that's because it's getting all the information from our folder, or at least all the files, with this specific string inside its name. So now we can get all the different information, or at least all the files out that we want to get. So now that we know this, we can actually go back inside our folder, is we can go ahead and delete the print r, and write a new variable called file actual name and set it equal to the file info we have up here but we have to make sure we get the correct array data which means we have to add brackets and include a zero in between it because right now what we want to get is the first data which in this case is uploads cat.jpg which has the name a zero so we're going to go ahead and refer to that one so now we should get the entire path name to it so if we were to go back down and uncomment my if statement here and instead of variable path, I'm going to go ahead and say file actual name. So now if I go back into my website, as you guys can see right now, we do actually have the cat image in here. If I delete the second one, just so we have one. If I were to run this function here, at least the, the script, as you guys can see, we now get delete success. And if I go inside my folder, the cat image has been deleted. So this is how we can get the entire name of a specific file. So this is basically what the glob function does inside PHP. And this was just to show you guys how you could search for files inside a root folder using a PHP function that would actually go in and search for any kind of file that had that specific name inside its name. So if you don't have the full name of the file, you can just search for part of the name. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.